hospitalized with people uh, that that are associated with the South part of the United States. I'll say that. I'm not sure there's a connection on there that's that familiar with the Big 12 Conference. Okay? They need to have somebody on there that knows the teams in this part of the nation. The only person born in the South on that committee is Condoleezza Rice. She was born in Alabama. When Archie Manning went off, I said, we're in trouble. I know Archie. He's a friend. He understands football. Down here. When he went off that committee, we're in trouble. We need a voice. I love that. I love the way <laughs> Condoleezza Rice, born in Alabama. It is true. It, yes, it is true. It, it is interesting when you start thinking about it, and after the fact, it's like, right, the committee chairman, he's from Arkansas. They 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 left the Southwest Conference. You got Tom Osborne from Nebraska. Okay, they left the Big 12. The, the guy who's from the Big 12, well, he's in West Virginia, which really doesn't feel like anything part of the Big 12. They barely are. They just got here. <laughs> this is their third. They, they haven't have even no finished history. their third season. They have no history with the conference. So there aren't a lot of tie-ins, a lot of close tie-ins in Texas. And the, the day Archie, the day Archie had to step down, it was a rough Archie. day. That was a rough day, according to Art. Also, uh, I liked it that uh, Art was. This was in that news conference um, after the announcement was made on Sunday. Tim, by the way, did you take in the uh, announcement from the House? Yes. Where were you when the when the committee, when the committee made its announcement? Oh, I was watching at home. I was watching at home. Yeah, okay, I was all set up there. Dude, I was a lot of. Heavy Twitter morning. Very okay. It was yeah. yeah were you saying some things on Twitter? Oh yeah. Now, apparently, I'm, I'm told you. And I follow you on Twitter, but of course, I was at early service, so I couldn't oh, really monitor you your uh, your Twitter feed. Did you did you pick this? Did you nail this thing? The top six? Uh, yeah, about an hour before it, I said I think the top six will be Alabama, Oregon, Florida State, uh, Ohio State, Baylor five, TCU six, and that was exactly what it was. I I just don't think it was hard to figure out what the committee was likely to do. I don't think it should have been that big of a surprise. You can complain about it if you're Baylor and, and a little bit if you're TCU, but I don't think it was hard to figure out. Well, all you can say now is that those, I think we're, we can now know that those weekly rankings were sort of useless. Like they didn't, they were kind of fun, and fun to talk about and all, but we're so trained to, to think of these things as like the AP poll. They're not a poll. No, it's not like some kind of like, you know, and, and so now, it, it's a it's an entire process, and they they they, they kept saying we're going to have a new white sheet of paper. We're, we're going to start right. over every single week. And in a, and, and, I, and I guess, they were very honest about it. Jeff Long said it when we had him on, and, and others said it. You know, it's like resumes were incomplete. And as long as Baylor hadn't played the next best team in the conference to them and TCU, it's like they hadn't turned in all their homework. So they weren't going to be ranked as highly. Yeah. And, and the reason for the, all those weeks, Jeff Long told us, just too many off dates for Baylor. They really, <laughs> just really. <laughs> Never caught up. Yeah. It's not the non-conference. <laughs> it is just way too many weeks where they were idle. They barely play the game. Yeah. And again, I want to say the Baylor does have, does have Rice on the schedule uh, starting next year. And Rice, a bowl team. Yeah. SMU scary. on the way up with Chad Morris. And, and Lamar is doing some nice things down there in Beaumont. Billy Tubbs, a good legacy there at Lamar. <laughs> So do not knock this non-conference record. It is the Afternoon Show, Callishaw and Mosley. And don't knock this segment either oh. because it is time for Mosley. Mosley do it every day at 415.